Can you read it? Okay. Hello, my name is Mary Yi, and this is side 25. Well, I guess that settles it. The time my halter top flew off on Space Mountain is no longer my most awkward moment. Uh, I'm gonna remember this my whole life. That's what this, the ride operator said. Look, honey, I'm so, so, so sorry I embarrassed you. I thought you were sleeping overnight at uh, Hillary's. I came home to get my stuff. I can't believe that I'm asking my mother this, but uh, what happened to your other date? Oh, he was a jerk. He ditched me because of the whole teenage kid thing. I guess I was upset, so Mr. Wimbush came over and we started talking. Got and... it, saw it. Hated it. You weren't this upset when I dated your orthodontist. I was nine. Things are different. When I was little, I loved that you were pretty and men looked at you, but now that I know why they're looking at you, well, ew. <laughs> Nothing happened. Uh, I promise I won't see Mr. Wimbush again, okay? Mom, the problem is not just Mr. Wimbush, it's everything about you. Everything about me? Well, no problem. I, I guess I can fix that. <clears throat> Mom, in one day you forgot it was parent-teacher night, you brought a date because of fear of roots, you're wearing a 10-inch skirt, and I come home to find you on the couch with my favorite teacher. <sighs> but honey, I... I didn't do any of that to hurt you. I know, but it's like you're a teenager. Oh, <laughs> really? I didn't say you <laughs> look like a teenager. You act like one. Well. You're impulsive and selfish, and I wish you'd stop. It's embarrassing and gross. Well, maybe I'm tired of you acting like my mom. It's boring and annoying. Be a mom. Scene.